hours last into Monday. I think they're most numerous tomorrow. They'll have with them the potential to be some pretty efficient rain producers at times. So I won't be terribly surprised here by Monday if some locations record more than an inch of total rainfall. As far as the thunderstorm chance goes, it's not zero. I just don't think that we're going to deal with widespread thunderstorm activity across the area. And it does look as though those temps will stay relatively mild. So here's what it looks like five o'clock tomorrow morning. Again, areas of rain. Sometimes it could be heavy. There may be some breaks as well. It's going to be most active as we work our way through Sunday. But then even going into Sunday night and Monday, I still think we'll keep those clouds in place and there's still going to be some scattered showers around as well. And we should start to see a lot of that extra moisture, that precipitation starting to work its way out of the area as we head into Tuesday. So for the low temps tonight, I mentioned we just don't drop very far low to mid 60s across the region with showers becoming more likely tomorrow. Tomorrow, not necessarily a solid rain all day, but potentially multiple showers in any one location. Some of those could be on the heavy side at times that will hold the temps down to the low 70s. But keep in mind that's still above average for this time of the year. Early October, hard to believe already. Showers linger into Monday. I think we'll get a break in the action here Tuesday into Wednesday as far as any wet weather is concerned, but there'll still be a little bit of a fight with some cloud cover. Notice temps staying pretty close to if not in the 70s right through the end of this upcoming work week and then those scattered shower chances will return by Thursday and Friday.